hey guys good evening uh, welcome to learnautomation.com uh, today in this tutorial we will see how to generate XSLT report in Selenium web driver okay so uh, before moving to the actual uh, tutorial let's discuss what exactly we are going to cover in this video tutorial okay so today we'll see what exactly is XSLT report then we will talk about how to use this ant build tool okay so uh, before using this we'll download ant then we'll verify whether this ant installs correctly or not then we will create a build separately for this and uh, we will verify the report folder and we will uh, see how this report looks like okay so just quickly go ahead and before moving to the downloading and installation part XSLT report means it's a separate reporting feature okay here you will get so many uh, you can say bar uh, pie chart graphs okay so that you can easily uh, go through that report and it gives very rich feel uh, in the reporting so anyways we have so many default reporting in test ng but it gives very nice uh, way of reporting i will show you how it looks okay so if you uh, see report I created a same post long time back so if you want to refer this post so I will share this link in the description you can directly go and check our main outcome will be generating this pie chart okay so it will show you test uh, this total graph in three categories failed test cases past test cases and skip test cases so what it will do it will simply take your test ng reports and it will generate this graph based on your reports only okay so let me quickly show you how you can download this ant okay we will be using one xml file to execute that xml we need to download one build tool called ant so you can directly type ant download it's a separate build tool okay and uh, so you will get this first link so simply right click and open in a new tab So right now we are directly into the download folder so sorry download page so you need to click on the zip archive okay right the current version is 1.9.6 so simply click on this zip file okay and it will start downloading one zip file oh yeah so right now i will simply uh, click on cancel because i already have this let me show you where i have this zip uh, this Apache aunt okay and once you this uh, download this zip file you need to unzip this and after unzipping you will get one folder so before using this aunt you need to set the environment variable so how to set this you need to go to the my computer so I will go to the desktop and uh, let me open one of the folder I will right click on this uh, my computer I will go to properties and here you can see I have one section called advanced system settings I will click on this I will click on environment variable so you can see I have set already one user variable and right now it's showing it is in this directory let me navigate to this directory C drive Mukesh folder and the drive folder I have a separate folder called selenium and yeah so right now the download link which I have shown you right it having the version 1.9.6 that is the latest one now if you see my previous uh, zip file which I downloaded long time back it contains 1.9.4 so go with the latest one maybe you will get some new enhanced feature so once you unzip you will get this folder Apache and 1.9.4 and if you open this you will get this folder so it's not an exe file so that we can directly double click on this and it will install in your machine what we have to do we need to give some setting here in our environment variable so once you open this click on environment variable and you need to click on new I already have so you can skip this in your machine you will not get this environment variable so in the user variable section click on new and type here and underscore home 
as the name itself says we need to give the path to the home directory where ant is installed in our case our ant is installed in this location so this is the home directory i will simply copy this from here and i will keep the value in the variable value and i will click on ok so it will show in this format now don't touch this user variable now let's come to the system variable okay here you need to search for the path and don't create a new one please i am requesting again don't create a new path it may harm your system so click on the added section go till the last again now we need to instruct our system that please go to the bin library okay and run this batch file so you can see we are getting one and it's a windows batch file so i will simply copy this path and i will paste here at last and i will use one semicolon okay i already have set this path so i will not uh, set again i will simply click on cancel in your case you need to click on okay simply just click on okay and click on okay now this is the installation that we have done so if i need to verify whether ant is successfully installed or not what i will do i will open a command prompt so i will say search box cmd and i will type here ant okay space hyphen version and hit enter so it is simply saying uh, version 1.9.4 compiled on 29th april 2014 it's a last year okay so if you are getting version it means aunt is successfully installed in your machine in case if you're not getting this there's so many chances that you have to restart your system so please go ahead and restart and after restart again fire the same command you will get the version so once you will get the version it means your aunt is uh, aunt built tool is successfully installed in your machine now the next step we need to download some libraries which will help us to generate this XSLT report. So if you refer my this tutorial, which I will uh, provide the link after the installation, you need to go to a, a link which I have given. So I uploaded some of the uh, jar files plus one build.xml file. So you don't have to write this build.xml separately. Just go here and download XSLT from my Google Drive account. I already uploaded here. So if I right click open in a new tab. Okay. You will get this. It is asking for your username password. I will give my username password. Mm Okay, so once you log into your account, you will get this accessibility report dot zip. So simply right click on this and click on download. So once you download this, it will start downloading. And it's a small, I think one MB file, it will download very quickly. I will show you where exactly I have stored this. In my C drive, I created a report folder. Okay, inside that report folder, I copied this accessibility report zip file. So what I will do, I will simply unzip this. So extract here. I will get this folder XSLT report. And inside this folder, I will get three things. One is the testng hyphen result. It's a XSL style sheet that is compulsory. One is the build.xml that we need to run it. And you will get two more uh, jar files that we have to add into our project. So this is what uh, XSLT report uh, we have unzipped. So this is the precondition. You should have a successfully installed Selenium web driver project and test output folder. Okay. So currently already some reports I have inside this. So I will simply go to this project home directory. Okay. If you have don't have any project, then please go ahead and create a new project, create some script and execute them via testng. Once you execute via testng, you will get one test output folder. Our main intention to just convert this XML uh, default reporting to XSLT report. So I will just check the location of this, uh, what you can say for uh, project. I will copy this 
I will navigate here. So I will open one file explorer. Okay, I will navigate here so you can see here I already located to this project home directory where my project is available in the same way I will type cd command in the command prompt and I will specify the path okay so you can see here right now my current working directory is this only c drive workspace video tutorial learn automation now we have three options right I will simply copy all these library plus build.xml plus testng hyphen results. I will copy from here and I will keep inside my project home directory. That's all. And uh, from Eclipse site, what you need to do, you need to simply right click, go to build path, configure build path. Here, click on add external jars. So we got this folder, right? XSLT report folder. Here you have one lift folder. Inside this lift folder, you will get two jar files. And these jar files um, will come from this folder. Click on open. So that jar file will include in this your project. Click on OK. And simply refresh this. So you have this library that already we downloaded. We have this build.xml that we have to execute. So just move to this command prompt. Simply type a n t, okay, and and uh, type here build. Okay, so build failed. It says target build does not exist. Okay, so simply type a n t and. So actually why it failed previously because we don't have target here so not an issue simply type aunt here a and t and this build will successful now what exactly happened in the background if you try to open this build.xml okay what exactly it is doing it is uh, taking the lift folder okay so we are giving this if you don't want to go into deep it's perfectly okay okay just for the information we are instructing this XML file that take all the libraries from this basic our base directory in the library folder get all the binary files from our project home directory in bin folder okay and in the lift folder we have all the jar files our main target is this we have created one target and we are instructing our target name is generate report so we need to uh, completely depend on this name Okay, make sure we will type the same. We will create any existing folder if available in our project directory. If any folder with the name testng xslt, it will delete. Then it will create the new xslt report folder. And from our result.xml file, it will generate one xml uh, sorry HTML file. Okay, if you have time, just go through this build.xml. Otherwise, if you don't want to go, it's perfectly okay. We need to simply remember this target. You can change it. As of now, I have name as generate report. So uh, once your build is successful, you need to simply say and and simply right click and paste. Hit enter. Okay, so you can see again I'm getting build successful. So what exactly happened? It has created one folder. You can say mkdir make directory. It created one folder. Folder name is test ng xslt. Then it is converting our XML file into HTML. So now if you go to your project home directory, previously we were not having this xslt report, but after completing this build, we are getting this folder, and you need to focus on this index.html. Okay, congratulations you can see your report has been created so currently I have only one test case that is coming in the fail category that's the reason you are getting only fail 100% because I have only one test case in case whatever report you have default it will take all that reporting and it will generate a, a graph for you so it doesn't matter you have 10 15 our main task to generate XLT report based on your previous report 
since I had only one test case that was failed. So if you want to know the reason, if you click here, sorry, uh, go to the default suit. So right now uh, we have selected all, right? So if you click on failed, so only failed category this. If you click here, name this, signature this, what, what time it started, ended, total number of duration. Plus if you click on the exception, it will show you why exactly our test has been failed. And we have this tear down that runs successfully. So you can see it's coming in a green color. Okay, so that's how you can uh, create this. Don't worry if you have multiple tests, it will show you in a uh, green, yellow and red color. Right now I had only one script, so it's showing only the completely red. It shows like a, a danger, right? So that's all. Uh, let me go through the steps, what we planned. So we have seen uh, what exactly XSLT report is, how to use this earn build tool, download this, verify want installation, execute build, and verify the report folder. That's all for this video tutorial. If you have any doubt, just drop me an email to my this ID mukeshot one at the rate learn automation dot com. And if you want to refer the same post I uploaded on my blog, so just refer uh, www.learn-automation dot com. In the description, I will provide you the link from where you can download the exact uh, zip file and you can use inside your project. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my blog as well. So if I have any new content, you will notified immediately. Thanks for watching this video. This is Mukesh. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.